you guys and welcome to episode 2. We're practically just going to carry on from where we left off, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to go back to Maya, and this is exactly where I left you guys off. Um, I've still got to optimize these, these four pillars here, and this main brace and that brace there. Now that brace doesn't need it. We need to do it on this main brace here. So let's quickly go ahead and get started, delete these faces. I don't know why I selected way too many there, just going to delete them faces and go over here, delete that face too. I'm just going to go ahead, go back to object mode and move it back in its place. Probably forgot to mention about moving around the editor, It's I'm using alt and middle click to move uh, that way <laughs> and left click to rotate and if you push F, hold, Alt, and left click, you rotate around that object. And uh, as I've said before, right click is smooth zoom. And I'm just going to quickly carry on here and delete these. So face. I'm going to delete that one. Draft this back up. I'm going to delete that one. Right there. So delete. Back to object mode. Put it back in its place. Same with this one. Should wait. Again, save time. I'm just gonna just gonna duplicate this one. Then replace that one. So just delete. I know this is really simple and it's only like a couple of faces, but as I've said before, they all add up and does actually affect your gameplay. So delete. We want to save everywhere we can. Use as little faces as we can. All right. So now that that's all done, apart from this one here. Face, delete, delete. There we go, move it down and to the left. And make sure that it's fine. There we go. There we go, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna go look for that folder. I just called it project in my documents inside that folder we made models and I'm just going to put um, hang mock-up there we go one I'm just going to go ahead and save that and we'll carry on so we need space for our ship which our ship can easily be stored on the right here which leaves I'm going to double click here and change the move to world uh, which basically means um, it, if you rotate the object, the move will still be the same left and right. It basically just ro moves it along the world instead of the actual object axis. So I'm going to move that down here and duplicate it. We're going to go ahead and add two. I'm just going to duplicate this one and I'm going to go over here to my channel box, change the rotation to zero so it's practically just like when we made it. I'm going to use the red one, red rotation, which rotates X, and I'm going to just about 40 will do. Now using my move tool I'm gonna to go ahead and move it so that it's against the rail just to add some effect you know like decorate the level. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and hit space and change it to this view here. Now if I use the blue I can rotate it till it touches the face. I can use that uh, ro uh, rotate, well I'm not saying rotate <laughs> I sometimes struggle with multitasking. There we go. Now it's completely against that rail, as you can see. Now inside the actual game editor, we're going to apply gravity to these, and it'll be a lot more precise. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one now. And drag this one a little bit more forward. That will do. They're pretty wide, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and in my rendering, I'm going to go ahead and click this button here, which will. Uh, which will change, add the edges to all the objects, so it'll make things a lot more clearer. We can see where we're editing. So I'm going to go ahead and add a cube. Now this cube is going to be a box. <laughs> we'll, um, we're not going to actually physically model a box. What we're going to do is we'll use textures and normal maps to make it look like an actual box. For now, it's just going to be a cube. So it might look dull and boring now, but that's just that for now. 
<laughs> so I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to double click and change that back to object move. And I'm going to close that one because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to move that back into place. There, duplicate, move that up a little bit. Once again, don't worry about getting these perfectly, like, there's a gap in between them. Because in the, in the actual editor, we're going to add gravity to it, so they're obviously all going to be perfect. But for now, I'm just going to move them so they're touching each other, so it makes it look like they're meant to be. There we go, so save. Now we've got them. Maybe make this box a little bit wider. Just adds more realism and organic feel. <laughs> An organic feel. This one a little bit smaller, maybe down onto the other box. That's inside the box. I don't want it inside the box. So about there. Save. Okay, so now we have a couple of boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a drain. A dra drain? Yeah, a drain. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this shape. Is it that shape? It's that shape I want. I'm going to go ahead and size it down. Move it to roughly the edge of the hanger. About there, and a bit more, a bit more, this way a bit. Actually, right now I don't want it completely on the edge, I want to say about here. That'll do. And I'm going to size this down a lot. And inside the channel box layer, you'll see the inputs here. And you, you can change how many uh, edges and shapes you want. I'm going to change that to actually eight. Eight's perfect for what I want to do. So we'll leave that at 8. And I just want to move it so that it's like half in the ground. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We want to get rid of the faces. May as well do that now. This is a pretty static design, so we don't have to worry about getting rid of faces early because we already know what we're designing and we know what it looks like. So hold shift, select them, hold shift, select the faces I don't want, and there you go. We have just selected all the bottom faces. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. So you can see it's literally just like an upside down cup. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and place this in the level to about there. Yeah, that seems about right. Maybe move it out a bit. Yeah, that's perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another. Wait, where is it? There it is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this. Now, this I'm going to change to 14 for the subdivision because we want it to be fairly smooth. So size it down appropriately, move it down. Okay, it's... And we want it to be in the exact same uh, position. Basically, we want this in the center over there. Which means we want the transform to be exactly the same. But first, let's do what we've done last time. Grab the face tool. Select all them, select the ones we don't want, and hit delete. So now, it should have no bottom. <laughs> yep, it's got no bottom. I'm going to go ahead and look at the X, Y, and Z values of the one we placed earlier. And I'm literally just going to copy them across, so we will eventually be exactly in the center. There we go. Now that is exactly in the center, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to go ahead and size it a little bit more. So this is going to be a pipe. As you can probably see it coming along. So, I'm going to go ahead and select the top faces again. Hold shift, select the faces I don't want. So we literally just have the top. And let's go ahead and build our pipe. So... We can either have these going out to the roof or out here and to the side and into the wall again, which is what we're going to go for. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, hold shift, extrude face, drag it up a little bit, hit the E key to activate the rotate. I'm just going to drag it, however, I'm going to keep looking at the side to make sure that I don't drag it so much that it breaks it down the left over here because we do not want that so I'm just going to drag it here and drag it a little bit to the left make sure that we keep it keep it yeah so hold shift and extrude again and now this angle we 
We don't want it to go too much. Because we oh we want to make sure that you're only clicking on the on the axis you want to rotate. So you can see there again. So we're just gonna drag a little bit to the left. And as you can see it's slowly coming along. Slowly coming along. I'm just gonna do exactly the same. I tried to keep them roughly the same distance as well. Just to keep it all organized. Drag up forward. Left again. It's coming along nicely. And then drag that out. This will be the last one. And I'll say into the wall. There we go. And then you can go ahead and hit delete. Because we don't want them faces. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the shape we made earlier on the ground. Control D, drag it up to the left, hit that rotate. And we, we want that, as you can see on the right, on the attribute editor here, we want to change that to minus 90. There we go. And then just drag it so that um, we're going to need to have a wall in here. Um, I didn't want to do the wall right now. I will make a temporary wall. Alright, I'm going to duplicate that box just to get a cube. Change the rotations to zero, and I'm just going to thin it out as if it was a wall. And drag it to the end, place it where the wall would usually be, drag it here, make a temporary wall. There's our wall, that's where our wall would be, which is good. And then we want to select this and drag it so that it's on the right side of the wall. There we go. Now we'll drag this back a little bit. Oh, missed it. <laughs> drag this back a little bit more so that it fits in perfectly. Then obviously we want to drag this up to about there. There we go. It's like... Uh, Perfect pipe. And it's already been optimized because we've done it as we went along. Okay, so just like we've done before, mesh, combine, and actually we can delete this. Actually, we're not going to delete the temporary wall. We'll just move that to the side. We'll probably still use that as a building tool. So now that this is one mesh, um, we're going to go ahead and hit insert again to change the pivot. We go ahead hit space and I'm just going to do what I've done last time and I'm just going to move it into where I want the pivot to be which in this case I want it to be in the middle at the bottom of that pipe so move it there and then we want it to be at the bottom so about there oh, that's like perfect and then push F and we want to move it back there to about there. There we go, it's like perfectly in line. So now I can click off it, hit W and you can see the pivot point is there, which is exactly what we wanted. So just, I'm going to go ahead and control D, I'm going to add another one in there. There we go, now we've got two pipes. Um, now we can add, add a little bit more to this level because as you can see it's kind of empty to be honest. <laughs> It needs a lot more doing. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. I'm going to end this episode here. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.